It wasn't until 2016 that the American Heart Association released the first statement recognizing after 93 years of the history of the association that heart disease is under-recognized in women, presenting in a way positive the need for more studies to understand why are we different and the differences in treatment. Did you know that over 8 million women live with heart disease and for every woman that died from breast cancer, six die from cardiovascular disease? More women die from cardiovascular disease than all the cancers combined. 420,000 women die yearly from cardiovascular disease and 50,000 more women than men die yearly. And did you know that that discrepancy in death is because coronary artery disease is underdiagnosed, undertreated, and underrecognized on women. This book is written for you. Those that live with their number one life threat in silence, those that will die because they don't recognize the symptoms that they're having are because of cardiovascular disease. When a person is experiencing chest pain, jaw pain, arm pain, they think about heart disease. And although a woman can present with those symptoms, more often than not, a woman that is suffering from a heart attack will not present with chest pain. They're gonna present what is called atypical symptoms. Atypical symptoms, I think it's time that we get rid of that term because it's atypical only because men will not present with those symptoms, but it is how typically a woman will present. Those symptoms are shortness of breath, a woman that is more short of breath than usual doing her regular activities, a woman that is short of breath at rest, a woman that is experiencing more fatigue than usual, pain in between your shoulder blades and your upper back, a pain that you cannot explain, feeling queasy or sick to your stomach, discomfort in the epigastric region, which is just that mid portion in the upper abdomen, those will be the typical presentation, typical symptoms that a woman will present with when they're having a heart attack. The symptoms can be very subtle and can present a confusing picture when you're trying to seek medical attention. This book is gonna give you the tools to be able to recognize symptoms related to coronary artery disease. What are your risk factors? When to seek medical attention? What tests you deserve to have done? And what care you deserve? As a cardiovascular disease specialist, as a woman, a daughter, a sister, a mom, these statistics upset me. And this is the reason why I decided to write a book to create awareness of why are we different, to create awareness for those women that are out there perhaps suffering from symptoms related to cardiovascular disease and not knowing it, to empower you, to educate you, to give you the tools that you need to understand your body and be your own advocate.